Friends of Kiefer the Little Giant Every dog has its daisy. I wish it would leave me alone. Daisy the diesel rail car complained one morning. It just looks at me when I pass McCall Farm. What keeps looking at you? asked Thomas. That dog, grumbled Daisy. Maggie, Farmer McCall's daughter, bought a dog not too long ago, and it keeps looking at me like it wants to do something. It's just a dog, Kiefer reassured her. When I used to work in London, the station master had a Labrador. She was very friendly. Well, snorted Daisy, for one thing, we're not in London, and for another, this dog is not friendly at all. At least I don't think so. Thomas and Kiefer gave up their argument as Daisy was already out of the station with her passengers. Don't mind her, Thomas said. Daisy's always had bad luck with animals. I can imagine, muttered Kiefer. Daisy usually enjoyed her runs down from Farquhar to the big station and then back again. But as she said, the little dog at McCull Farm had started to make her feel uncomfortable and annoyed. Maggie adored the dog and loved to play with her when there were no chores around the farm. Maggie would often wave to Daisy when she passed, but Daisy would never toot her horn in reply and instead would deliver a cold, dirty look to the dog, which would stare back. Daisy couldn't wait to get to the big station, but going back to Farquhar was another matter, as again, the dog would just stand near the farm and stare at her. Daisy was starting to think that sooner or later, the dog was going to get the better of her. A few days later, Daisy was waiting at the junction for Gordon's connection. The big blue engine arrived, but could tell that Daisy looked unhappy. What's the matter with you? he asked. Thomas not working again? It's not Thomas, whimpered Daisy. It's the dog on McCall Farm. I think it wants to tease me. It's just a dog, grumbled Gordon. Animals know their place on this railway, and they would never cause any trouble. This coming from an engine who was afraid of a cow along with Henry? Daisy asked innocently. Completely out of the question, huffed Gordon. Now, if you excuse me, I have important work to do. And Gordon thundered out of the station as soon as the guard blew his whistle. Daisy sighed. But little did she know that her journey up to Farquhar was going to be a lot different than usual. Daisy felt nervous as she approached McCull Farm, but she was very surprised to see that the dog was nowhere to be seen. Oh, thank goodness, she sighed. But her relief soon turned to shock when she started slowing down. A familiar bull was on the line ahead. It was Champion. He stared at Daisy, looking at her as if he recognised her. See here, Bull, Daisy said as she stopped. You are in my way, and I've got passengers to take back to Farquhar, so please move. Champion didn't budge. He just swished his tail and stared. Look here, you, said Daisy regaining her confidence. I order you to move now! Champion bellowed back, as if to say, Are you going to make me move? Daisy trembled, but was caught by surprise by the ringing of a bell from behind. Having trouble, Daisy? called a voice. Daisy was surprised when Toby appeared, and even more so, when Maggie jumped down from the tram engine's cab with the dog. Champion bellowed again, but the dog stood in front of Daisy and barked back. Then, as if it was herding a flock of sheep, 
It led Champion off the line and back up to the farm with no trouble. Well done, Maggie, congratulated Toby. A splendid performance from your dog. Maggie smiled. Daisy felt terrible. I'm sorry I've been rude towards your dog, she said to Maggie. I must admit it saved my life. Does it have a name? Maggie pondered. I didn't really give her one, she said. But after today, I might call her Daisy. The diesel rail car blushed and looked at Toby. Whatever is this railway coming to? Toby chuckled. First Donald's duck, now Daisy's dog.